Autograph session. Good yourself. Good. Anybody standing in line? Oh yeah. There's a good group of people in there already. How many? There's a good group of people in there already. Where are you with? I didn't even
Hey, Chris. Stick it in. And that hurt. 
But nonetheless, after a couple of body slams, we got even with them. Right now, yesterday I was talking about the Bowery Boys. We ran that with Captain Jim on Channel 11, and there was Slip Mahoney there. This is his cousin, Slip Mahoney Durso. That was his name as a wrestler. And believe it or not, he has wrestlers now in the Tri-State area. But tell us something about yourself, and you're looking good. Don't give me that name, it's up behind me. I'm glad I kept it all these years. And I want to really thank everybody for being here. You know, you don't know what, how good I think being up here with all these guys, Bruno, Batman, Otis, I go up, and this guy right here, Larry's a history. It's, it's great being here. Thank you. All right. There's a loose wire here, so uh, that's what's wrong with this microphone. It's owned by the mall. <laughs> Alright, here's a man that I'll tell you a little background on Larry. Larry was an outstanding high school wrestler at North Hills and state champion, heavyweight division. Went to Penn State, state champion, heavyweight division. As a youngster uh, in high school, Bruno lives in the North Hill. We, Bruno, myself, Larry lives there. And he had a pool in the backyard then. And one day a young boy walks over and said, introduced himself and said, I want to be a wrestler. And they became real good friends. And Bruno helped Larry a lot in the beginning. And quite a wrestler, quite an athlete. And uh, if you ask Larry who the best one is, he'll tell you he is. <laughs> But to be kidded in the ring here in the dressing room by an old timer, a 
and he told me to attack Bruno whenever he uh, went down to uh, say a prayer in the corner as uh, was uh, happened to Bruno before he back. And I took him up on this. I said, well, I want to be noticed by the promoters. And I started kicking and punching Bruno. And I remember looking up at me like, what's this crazy kid doing? It wasn't long before he came to his feet. And uh, a few minutes later, I was flying through the air. And he beat me up for uh, three or four or five minutes and put me in a bear hug. Of all the things, the Russian bear got beat with the bear hug. Television, but it was an honor. It was really an honor to be able to have wrestled that. That was my introduction to Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. That indeed, many matches later, wrestling Bruno here in Pittsburgh and throughout the uh, country, St. Louis to the eastern uh, United States. But uh, always a thrill, always a thrill stepping in the ring because I knew I was going to get a match. You know how intimidating it is whenever you get to the match ahead of time and you're a is running around and around the arena for 90 minutes before you match. You start thinking to yourself, I better suck it up here for sure. Well, thank you so much. So great to be here. God bless you. Yeah. Uh, I'd like you to meet Ivan's wife, Renee, right here. They live in now Greenville, North Carolina. Very, very nice. The fellow that was uh, a man that could run miles and miles still works out, and like Ivan said, run around the rink 90, min 90 minutes, but always stayed in great shape, and known as the world's strongest man. That, without a doubt, he, he, he body slammed a stacks Calhoun. You gotta tell them that story. Nobody ever lifted a stacks Calhoun who weighed over 600 pounds. And in the garden, Bruno has the record of all the athletes in Madison Square Garden. Bruno has more sellouts, main event, than Joe Lewis, Rocky Marciano, you name it, in boxing, whatever. Bruno was number one. But Bruno, you have to tell them about the match with Ace Dak Calvin. Well, second time seeing on your folks thank you for coming out but I just if I may like to say a few words about these gentlemen up here because I too this is my home ever since I came from Europe we settled here in Pittsburgh and it's always been my home even though we travel all over the world but uh, Pittsburgh was always home but as far as these gentlemen a guy like Johnny DeFacio very very talented wrestler he could have been made it traveled everywhere in the world like we did, but he was a little smarter. He had a brain, fire, so he became a president of a union. He became very powerful, he still is, uh, more than ever, I guess, and he's, uh, uh, and he's yet he, he showed his wrestling skills uh, in, by wrestling all over here. In fact, we've been tag team partner a number of times. Frank Dorsch, another local boy, who was, became very popular around here, and uh, I'm glad to see that he's here in good shape. This is Frank Bowles. He's a little, a little bigger. Now, some of us shrunk and some of us got bigger. Frank was always a big guy. He was about 270 or I was about 280, 290. But he was always a big man. And he was a, 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 a good cop, a good policeman. Who, uh, he was a chief there for a good while. And, uh, and uh, he's a very respected man. And, and, he was, and, and well, he should be. I know I always respect him. Now, I'm about 220 pounds now, and I have not I don't know, maybe, maybe he's heavier, but in our heyday, he was 300 pounds, and I was 275. And, and I, I bragged a little bit, we were both in great shape, and so we did have some phenomenal matches. I thought they were great. I always had the utmost respect for him. I thought he was one of the greatest wrestlers that I've ever wrestled. I wrestled them all. Uh, but I just had it all. He had speed, he had strength, he had uh, skills, he was just tremendous. And so, uh, so it's really great to see him here. Uh, I'll, I'll wait for that guy in a little bit. Tony Marino, the Batman, as you best know. This guy and I were not only tag team partners many, many times through the years, but we were training partners. We used to love to work out. Whether it be New York, we used to go to a place called the, the, the Mid City Health Club or, or every place else. See, Tony, uh, a lot of people.
people may have not known, besides being the great wrestler that he was, he was also had been a great weightlifter, bodybuilder, and in the Mr. America contest, where he should have won, and that's that's the fact. He won they do some divisions in physique contests. You post for the best chest, best arm, best He won them all. He won the best chest, he won best legs, he won the best abdominals. He won everything but the title. They gave the title to somebody else, which it, didn't make uh, much sense. But anyway, it's great to see Tony because, uh, like I said, we, we're good training partners and we, uh, we're tag team partners. So, uh, so, uh, so I'm thrilled that we're going to find out we're going to be <laughs> And uh, Larry Zabisco, Larry Zabisco, like he said, he was a kid who came around and sneaking in my bushes. Somehow he knew that I'd be home and I wasn't home often in those days because it was always on the road, flying all over the place. But uh, uh, I, he was very persistent and I, so we got to know each other. He was a tremendous wrestler at one of the best schools in the country. Uh, North LA gave me had the best coach and wrestling team. And they were rated like number one in the country. And Larry was a real standout. And I, uh, the more I learned about him, the more I realized that this guy was certainly become a great pro. And, uh, and he did, of course, and he wrestled uh, again, he got to wrestle all over the world. But uh, when I, he and I had a fallen out, so to speak, but we, we set records there, we did Shea Stadium, sold out Shea Stadium, Sebastian and I. Here at the uh, arena here, every arena we went to sold out, because people loved the matches that we had, and of course they, they knew of our situation. Uh, uh, he was my protege, and then he became uh, uh, I guess Tony, I guess Larry want to show the people that well, I'm in my prime and, and my uh, mentor here is step back a little bit. And with that, we uh, we started this review. But all I can say is that we set record after record. Larry is a tremendous, tremendous talent. So, and real quickly because they get too much time here. The thing with Calhoun was that uh, I couldn't get a break when I first started, and there was a bunch of publicity. Nobody had ever lifted up a sex scalpel. I was in some kind of a radio show and I said, the reason why nobody ever picked him up is because they never put me in there with him. I was being a little cocky, but I was looking to get a break. And I thought, boy, if I can do something, maybe it means something. So eventually the match was made and I did pick him up in Madison Square Garden. The most memorable thing about that was I never expected that the audience would react as they did because I thought the roof of the garden was going to fly off. When they saw Gallup go out of the air. And in fact, there were some newspaper people who questioned the legitimacy of this one of the box. So, because the garden had a circus a couple weeks every uh, year, they had scales for whatever reason, I don't know, animals or whatever. But anyway, they, they, they challenged Gallup to get on that. And he wasn't 601 pounds the way they said, he was 625 pounds. <laughs> so, he gave me better publicity. But anyway, I would think much of time. It's great to be here to see all these great legends over here. It's a big thrill for me, and thank you for coming. Incidentally, on that match with Haystack, when he body slammed him into the net, into the mat, the mat and the, the uh, ring broke, and it went down, and the whole thing changed in. So that shows you what strength will do. Mr. America, Mr. Batman, a man unto a man, and here he is, the Batman, Tony Marino. Welcome from the Batcave, ladies and gentlemen. It's certainly nice to be back here again, see all your smiling faces. I love you and I love Pittsburgh. If it wasn't for the snow in the hills, I'd still be here, but I couldn't take it any longer. I had to move to Florida, where it's flat and sunny. <laughs> anyway, uh, it is an honor to be here with all my buddies. I look forward to it when I heard from Joe, Big Joe, you know, Big Joe the promoter. Now nah, he's the one who puts it on. You gotta give him a hand. He says, I gotta ask you a question. 
the music. Because we were always over the top, we were into the bleachers, and everything, you know. But we had some good matches. And, uh, anyway, it is certainly nice to be here. Everybody said everything. And, and, and I'm really pleased. And uh, you're a wonderful crowd. And, and I hope you enjoy yourselves. Because I know I'm enjoying myself. Thank you very much. Thanks for coming out.
Ron Russell came by yesterday and said, you can beat his ass. His name is Mike Gray, Russell came by yesterday. He said, yeah, I need to fight Ron Russell. He said, he came in pretty good. But he said, he was a nice guy. He didn't hurt me. He was a nice guy. I can get what you want. He might have just been calling out. Yes, sir. I was down in Atlanta with you. This is my boy. Did you sign it to Ricky? Ricky. Yeah. Where do you want to sign that? Yeah, we were down in Atlanta. We spoke. I had the picture taken. Yeah, so I was going to be up there. I can't even remember. I can't even remember. I think so. I think so. I think 
You want the Let's the AWA championship. We watch it all the time on NWA. Oh yeah. yeah right, right. Eh? Rock and Roll Express. Yeah. Oh, I love it. <laughs> Who, 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 who put that out? That Vince put that out? Uh, yeah. Jim Crockett. Jim Crockett, who was it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. they actually put together yeah. DVDs of that. Yeah. I guess it was. Right. He's been bought it up, I guess. Now yeah, I think he owns all the rights now. Uh, no joke. It's no joke. We'll do it on the back. Or wherever you like. Would you like? I can do it right here. Yeah. I'm extreme for things. I mean, we keep that in pressure, you know, we keep in pressure. These are the days, man. Take it easy. Yeah. All right, that sounds great. Thank you very much, Rob. Watch your time. Nice to meet you. Well, that's okay. Thank you. Very nice. Still good. My pleasure. My name is Steve. <laughs> yes. Yes. Yeah, I'm in the month. Can I get a picture of me? Yeah, I'm for you. Yes. Yo, what are you doing? Yeah, I have to put some. 4K85 in the cage. I remember. Oh, I was sexy. You're my hero. That was a little kid. I'm watching WWF. Thank you, one of the greatest ever. Thank you, sir. Yeah. 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 Thank you very much. Nice meeting you too. Okay, I got it. Hi, Colonel. Oh, it's Nikita. You do great, yeah. He's got a ministry in the corner. He's got a church at Concord here, Charlotte. Oh, yeah, we're done. Yeah, we do a ministry together. Oh, that's good. How about Custer? Hey, Custer. No, that's a very close one, right? How about the gentleman? How are you? You have a little soldier dead there, right? Oh, yes. Out. Could you move it to Dawn? Is that Dawn Dio in? Yep, that's it. This was what we saw to here. We used to do the Oh! Got a bad line, huh? Yeah. 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 Yeah.
everybody up here now will surely begin to take some pictures of Bruno San Martino. But if you have any other autograph tickets, please get in line now. Studio Wrestling Reunion event number four, and I'm standing next to Frank, the fighting cop from Carnegie Holtz. Frank, what comments do you have for this event? Well, it's been a great event. A lot of old time showed up, a lot of new faces. I enjoy coming up here. Old friends show up, you know. It's, they bring you pictures of when you started 20 years ago, 30 years ago. It's hard to believe the fans are that dedicated. Frank, how does it feel to see someone you haven't seen for 30 or 40 years? It's really something. You know you've seen them somewhere, but they, their features have changed so much. Oh, we all change, you know. Frank, we appreciate your attendance here and hopefully look forward to having you again. Thank you for coming. Thank you for having me. Frank Slip Mahoney Durso, this is his fourth appearance at Studio Wrestling Reunion Events. What comments do you got today, Frank? It's a wonderful turnout. I like being here, meeting all these fans, meeting all the guys here that I worked against and worked with. It's great. Thanks for inviting me. Thank you for coming, Frank. Thank you. Defazio, this is the fourth event Johnny has appeared at also. What comments do you have for us today, John? Well, it was a pleasure being here as usual. A lot of great wrestling fans were here, and also a lot of the uh, older wrestlers of the day were also here. So it was, it was really a nice day being here again, and always enjoy coming up here. The fans are great, and seeing some of the old wrestlers again, uh, it's also great seeing them again. So it was a good time, and I'm glad I could make it. Sure. Thank you. Thank you very much, Donnie, for coming. My having pleasure. You. Thanks a lot. Look forward to it again. Okay, thank you. Billy Bill Cardill, this is the fourth event you've been at at Studio Wrestling Reunion Events. Can I have your comments today? Yes, and Joe Shedlock, I want to thank you for inviting me and the wrestlers up to the Westmoreland Mall. It's been a blast. Great turnout, great crowd, and wonderful people remembering and reminiscing about studio wrestling. The pictures and the items that you put together, though, are outstanding. And it's always a pleasure working with a professional. And Joe, you are a professional. You are the right man in the right spot with the right business. I know Bruno Sammartino uh, agrees with me. We're always uh, riding together for different appearances, but we look forward to coming to your appearances wherever they are. And it was good having, on this particular show, Ivan Koloff, the Batman, Johnny DeFazio, Larry Sabisco, also Frank Slip Mahoney Terso, Frank the Fighting Cop out of Carnegie Holtz, and the fans. The fans were wonderful. Joe, you and your son and your wife, great too. Anytime, any place, you can count on us, especially Bruno San Martino speaking for you, and me, Bill Cardillo, Chili Bell. You can count on us anytime you call. Nice seeing you again. Thank you very much, Bill. Uh, Studio Wrestling Reunion event number four. What do you have to say for yourself today, Larry? Well, you know what? I, I just It's the first time in like years and years I felt like a fan because uh, now I'm, I'm sitting here with guys that I used to watch. These are the guys that made me want to be a wrestler. Bruno and, and Batman and Ivan and guys.
guys that most people never heard of, like Jumpin' Johnny DeFazio and Frank Holtz, the fighting cop from Carnegie and Slip Mahoney Dorso and the Chili Billy Cardilly. And these were the things we grew up with in Pittsburgh. And this is the reason why I did what I did. My life was what it was, was because of this group of guys. So uh, for me, it was a fantasy weekend in Larry Land, one to be remembered. Thank you very much for appearing, Larry. Oh, you're welcome. Renee Koloff. Hi. Ivan Koloff's wife, and she has came here today to Studio Wrestling Reunion event number four. Renee, what comments do you have about this event? Well, I, I really enjoyed today. I think this is one of the more organized uh, events that we've been to. And I hope we'll be able to come back to Pennsylvania soon. Thank you for coming, Renee. Hope you had a good time. Thank you. I have. So this is Studio Wrestling Reunion event number four that you've appeared at. What comments do you have for today's event? Well, today was a very interesting day and a very enjoyable day because I got to see a lot of the guys from my era, guys that I wrestled with many times and uh, great memories uh, because they were all so great. So to be out here together with them to me was a real treat. And every, all these wonderful folks that came out to say hello and get an autograph or a photo, then they had extra, extra fun. And uh, I'm so very happy I have the opportunity to have a day like this. And I hope there will be more in the future. Thank, Thank you. Thank you very much, Bruno. At Studio Wrestling Reunion event number four is Chris Cruz, former WCW announcer who's attended two of my events. Chris, what comments do you have about these type of events? Uh, I drove four hours for this, uh, and it was worth every minute. You get to meet these guys that I grew up, I'm 52, I get to meet these guys that I grew up watching TV, and of course, I talk to Bruno, but it's not often that I get to see him in person, see guys like Bill Cardell and Larry Zabisco. And, you know, this place, I think if more people knew about it, uh, this place would just be packed, and I'd love for you to do that in malls around the Northeast, not just for studio wrestling, which people in Pittsburgh knew, but having grown up in Maine, uh, I think uh, you know these guys are well known really throughout the world and throughout the country. So I had a great time here, and uh, anytime you get a chance to meet these guys, they're very accessible. Uh, it's a great value. You're not going to spend thousands of dollars or hundreds of dollars to see these guys. You get pictures with them, you get a chance to talk to them. It's a great event. I hope people come to these, and I hope you come a lot more often. Thank you very much, Chris, for coming. My pleasure.